It seems well, like you're just on the rope. about uh, the cover they tried on you tonight, the first time you really trapped somebody uh, even after a ball screen, and how did you assess? I've seen that already. I already know. That was about, <laughs> we, had this, we had this conversation earlier. And, I mean, I've seen that defense uh, several times throughout the course of this year, and it's no different. You seem like the, you're just constantly on that on that roll. What is it like to just stay in that rhythm? Day just being aggressive. Been aggressive and trying to do whatever it takes to help my teammates. Gerald said the other day that he feels like you're really locked in. Why are you so locked in now? I mean, I'm sure you usually. I'm always locked in, but I mean, it's, uh, it's an opportunity, you know, especially coming off last year and the momentum we had and uh, to get off to that slow start, you know, being injured, you know, and trying to bounce back. Uh, I feel like I got some making up to do, so uh, I want to get back to a rhythm and put ourselves in the best position to uh, compete. What do you feel like was the difference in the fourth quarter, James? Our defense. Third quarter, we allow them uh, to get too many easy layups. We kind of relax. I think, you know, being up 18, you know, late in the third quarter, uh, we got to close those games out, go up 20, and uh, cruise the fourth quarter. But, you know, give a team confidence, especially a young team. They got a lot of energy. Um, you know, they made some big shots, turned the ball over, and, and we had to kind of calm down a little bit. But uh, we closed the game off the right way. What does it mean to you that Will Chamberlain is the only guy who's had a longer scoring streak of 30 points or more than him? Um, great company. I mean, I have Will had a 500 games over 30. Um, I'm just trying to continue to keep going. Like, nothing can slow me down, nothing can stop me. Uh, I'm trying to give that same courage and same motivation to my teammates. Um, and it's not just about scoring, it's about just going out there and attacking the game. Like, right. like like being aggressive with the game of basketball, defensively, offensively, um, that's, all I can, that's all I can give to him. You got to do it without Chris for a while. How nice is it when you know you can put the ball in his hands? And he can, he can I mean, it's that. just unbelievable. But then you got Eric that set out tonight. So right. once we get it you know, together and we get all our pieces together and being able to catch a rhythm, um, the game will be a lot more easier for us. ESPN's Rachel Nichols interviewed Kobe Bryant today. and. He had said that he doesn't think that you guys can win a championship with the way you play, being so ball dominant. What's your response to that? I mean, I have to be ball dominant just because we have injuries. You know, we had injuries throughout the course of the year. So, um, but when we get Chris, you know, in the rhythm and Eric back and get our full roster, um, you know, we got multiple guys that can make plays, multiple guys that can dominate the ball. So, um, I mean, for right now, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's probably right. You know, this way that we're playing won't happen in the play. It won't get us to where we want to go. But we haven't had a full roster yet, so um, I'm excited for that to come. Chain, when you made that ten over run, you as a team, would you guys accomplish a confident enough to know that you, you're going to weather the storm? Is that the case? Today? Yeah, but we have to do it defensively, and we did that. We got stops when we needed to. Um, I mean, every team is going to make a run. Uh, even last game, we got up big teams to make a run. You got to just calm down, get a good shot, and then rely on your defense to get stops and win a game for you.